Um, hello and welcome to another video. This will be another McChicken Nugget Step on Side Showcase. This will be the 26th episode of that. Um, so, we're on the first dying days now, so let's go. I saw something last night. And it sent a shiver right down my spine and the hair on my arms stood up. I got it on video too. You won't, I'm not, I'm not going to show you guys that. Uh, I watched it back a hundred times. I've seen it before. Anyway guys, um, last round, the final round of auditions were last night for the camera and uh, having your own business, the family business worked into, uh, your business. It's all perfect. Come on. I didn't know it was lunchtime. Ah, look what I'm doing. Hey, what's up, Joe? Wow, yeah. is that a hurricane joke? Really? Yeah. Hmm. Too soon, I haven't dude. Seen you in a while. Hey, Uncle Larry. Yeah, I haven't seen him for a while either. Yeah. Oh, uh, come on. How about those auditions last night? Pretty good, right? Yo, I had way higher expectations than what I had. Yo, did. Jeffrey was saying the same stuff. Be nice. These yeah. kids are. I mean, they're not kids. I wouldn't hire kids. Were you really impressed? Yeah. Yeah, I can train them. Well, shit. I mean, not train them, train them, but like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'll show them the ropes yeah. once they sign up. <laughs> Where's your mom at? He's down at the marinas. Hey, you said that. What does that mean? He's passing out flyers. Trying to get up some work, boat work. She not selling the merch. She going there with some freebies. What merch? The tr don't be. Hey, Jackie is real snarky over here on the on the video. You really didn't like any of those guys. Because we're going to need to talk about, like, finalists, who you think's going through. Yeah, there was a couple that were okay, but, I, I mean, I, I was expecting somebody just to blow me away, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like Irma? Yeah. See, you wouldn't be saying that you were down there, Jackie. Hey, I haven't seen you in such a long time. I know, I'm just saying, like, once you retire, where are you going? You can help me take this thing down and pull it up. It's kind of hard because it's so big and you don't want to ball it yeah, up. Yeah, wait, why, why are you taking this down? It's important that showcase because you guys we're don't know why not to do uh, showcase of stuff. Huh? Yeah, we're not doing so it. Like this awesome. What do you mean? I don't... The views are, like, ridiculous. I mean, like, the last video that we just did, it was like $2 we made on it. So you're just, well, you're packing all this up and... <clears throat> I haven't got to use this freaking room in like two years. Okay, well, what are you doing with it all? I'm probably just gonna pack it up and probably put it on eBay or something. You're seriously done? Yeah, I'm done with this. Yeah. I mean, I don't understand. I, I, you love this stuff. Why are you quitting? Because, like I said, we we take so much time. Okay. You need making, better these, reason. making these videos. I mean, it takes me. You know, I get home from work. Right away, I write this the the stories that I have mm -hmm. to do for it. Right. Which might take me a half hour, might take me an hour and a half sometimes to research. Okay, but isn't it worth it? No, not two dollars. It ain't worth it. I mean, literally. Is it really two dollars? Is that exaggerating? Like I know, ad, like my ad is down, but I've got how many views? Uh, two thousand five hundred. Are you serious? Yeah. How about the good? There's good comments, so people like this, right? No, actually, there's a lot of hate with it, and that's another thing that's not even freaking worth it. All the hate that I get for this. For, for all the effort that we put in. Hold on, so are you ending now? No, it's happened in a while back, and I did quit for a while because that uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to take it one day at a time. Well, you better not. Time. You can't quit. You're a creator, right? Uncle Larry? You're gonna, you keep creating. You don't stop. It's more of a hobby. What about the good fans? Huh? What about the board of fans? Yeah, I know. Where are the fans at? What about growing? We're we'll growing. We grow back. Well, that's the pants now, I'm, sure. I I, I'm not growing. I'm going the opposite way. So, so you're just, you just you don't even know if you're in the channel or not. You're just going to be doing. I'm going to do some of the stuff that I like to do still. You know. Right. Well, I mean, Tom, who, do you know your dad's taking this shit down? Yeah. Well, yeah. Okay. Well, then, well, you're in your, you're cool with that. I mean. Pretty much, yeah. I mean, I'm confused, but uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Isn't Tom making, isn't this like, your income, dude? I'll tell you how much you on this video. Oh, uh, well, let's see. With division to clean taxes, about 50 cents. So, you know, very sustainable. Well, dude, I mean, I mean, before all this, though, you were making money. This was your full-time job, so. Well, yeah, but, I mean, I'm still in college, and this is my last year of college, so I'll be getting a, uh, 
a real job after. Real job? What the fuck is this? And see that that's the thing. That's what I'm talking about, Jesse. It's like you know, he's got he's going to be having that to do also. Okay. Like, that's come up. This is last year, right? So he won't be around doing this anymore right. either. And he's got he's got. His oh shit! <laughs> You guys again. saw us in the previous video. You saw how hard we're gonna be I'm on you guys. Yeah, super hard. We got a full what? Yeah, we got a full seven, seven, seven hours today. It's gonna be intense. We're hoping to see you guys. Seven hours. Yes. We, we, seven we hours. Think, the odds are in our favor that we're gonna get the cameraman in this bunch There's today. There's a few guys. things I gotta showcase here. Without wasting any time, really let's get there. No, no, it's in this one. Oh my God, he snapped there. We're here, guys. Uh, we're going to be starting the auditions right now. Hey, Everything, what the fuck just happened? Everything's set up. We're ready to go. Don't worry about it. Let's do this, guys. All right, let's get it yeah. All right, get the same My seat. My boy, Damien. Uh, can I already got the cameras on for our pod. Nope, we're staying here. Guys, I already went out into the lobby. I did that in a little interim. These guys. <laughs> um, there's a lot of people here. So it's going to be run and gun, guys. I don't want this video to be too long for you. So we're actually going to take the highlights, the best of the candidates that we're thinking about choosing. If somebody's just not making the cut, you might not even get to see that person in the video, guys. We're going to take this very seriously. All business, just like the so previous video. So going to end right here. He's already got the attitude. Nice job. You want to All right. some water? Yes, please. Thank you, sir. Yes, thank you, sir. Didn't snap that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Swift, you ready? Yeah, uh, of course. Now that you audition, I'm going to be audition. looking at you look with, at a, you. with a laser with a vision. Laser beam vision. Okay, Jeff, he, he's got it. But Your it name's here. You're Swift. You can't be Jeff, just so we're Well, I know, but I'm just All saying right. to Jeff. I said you got it. I'm not allowed to talk behind the camera also. Sorry. All right, guys, we're doing things a little differently. There's so many people out there. I'm actually going to tell them that we already have the cameraman just to fuck with them. And then we're going to get started. Let's do it. I got to showcase this part. This was funny. <laughs> What's up, guys? I'm assuming most of you are here for the competition. Um, it's really hard for me to say right now. But uh, we actually already have the cameraman. It's right over there. Name's Swift. So, uh, so you guys came out and I don't know how far, but yeah, we. No, I, I, no, I genuinely am sorry. Like, we... nice one, Swift. Thanks. Nice one. Came all in for the last. Oh shit, man. Seriously? Shit, Joey, we got something from Atlanta. This part was yeah. funny, which is why I'm playing this. Calm down. Hi, how are you doing? Hello, how are we going? I'm here to audition. I'm going to be singing an original song I wrote called Uneven. My name is Juliet Riley. You want to write that down? Okay. Uh, this isn't a singing time. This isn't American Idol. This is a, for the county. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Get the fuck yeah. out. Yeah. We're looking for somebody to film, not yeah. to play guitar and look pretty. Get out. Yeah, no, this is a waste of time, Doug. What are you thinking? Lord, I, know, I know we had Swift audition the other day, and now we got this girl coming in. Was there a sign on the door that says singing? I don't think so. Oh, no, no. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Next, oh, we have a special guest judge. Hey, 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 hey. joining us. It's going to be the more extreme, nice version of Paula that means Uncle Larry can now unlock, unleash the dickish. What the hell does that mean? But you know, <laughs> you know how you know when YouTube ad revenue is down? down. I'm trying to wish you Jeffrey's out. been bored for a while. Alright guys, next. I hate to keep bringing Brad up, but I'm looking for another yeah, one. Now, like, oh shit! <laughs> oh, so I guess not that was Jason. I am not know Jason. I've been having a great day today, guys. Um, I'm here for the big jumping on this cameraman position, obviously. Hold up, hold up. <laughs> What? Is that you? Yes. Corn? Legit though? Is that you one of those things? It is me, Corn. Nah. 
Yeah. I'm gonna show your face a little bit, 100%, man. 100% real. Because that's this shit, 100% real. 100%. You come all the way out? All the way from Cali. Bitch. Yo, who the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that? That's so cool. Imagine a prank card show. What the fuck? Hey, hey, sorry, 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 just like corn, right? Yeah, he just dips that fuck out, man. Just like that. I feel like that guy. That was pretty funny. That was yeah. pretty good. That made what the weird. fuck? I legit thought that was him, dude. My heart was racing. I was like, yo, is he about to audition? I, I thought it was too. He would have got it. I would have been like, you're hired. Yeah. And send it low enough. And like, yeah. Yeah. It's not bad that stuff going on. I too. Yeah. Even after I pulled it up, I was like, yo, dude, had, I, I yeah. thought he grew his hair out or something. He's getting a little kind of pro going on. Wow. <coughs> what a little what get a cat get somebody out of that. Get him solid raid. Wait, who was that other guy with him? That was Yo, was that yes. the bitch I was in that corn thing? Oh really? So is that is it? You can yeah. talk motherfucker. Yeah, it's him. Are you serious? Yeah. Open the door yellow. That's a pocket. <laughs> Yo, are you corn? Ah. Were you the one in the corn costume? Yeah. Yo. Yo, you know that dude that was wearing that corn shit? What you doing, man? What are you hopping that shit? Yeah. Why? What are you hop it? You break a law? I break a law. I break a law. You good, bro? Yeah, good. I'll come back in there. What? I'll come back in there right now. Come on in, boys. I'm like a baton in here. You serious? I'll come back in here. What you want? I just want to do I just want to. I'll shave that little goatee off your face. Not little. What? I just ain't growing for years. What are you trying to do? Why are you trying to fuck up our show? You're not trying to be the next camera. Man, fuck out of here. Don't come back. Next. Yeah, I was ready. Next. I was ready. Next. I was ready. I wasn't kidding. I'm already has that shit ready. Dude, these kids, man, these fucking trolls. Yeah. Isaac, That's it, guys. We're gonna leave this on here just for memories. Um, oh, um, who wants to help us carry some shit? Oh. Let's get the. Uh... Well, just clean. No, no. Why are you doing anything, bitch? I'm holding the camera. Dude, no. I can hold the camera. I'm gonna close off the video. Come on, much miles. Put some pepper nuts, that bitch. <laughs> there you go. Oh my God. You ain't gonna impress me by going two miles an hour. Um, you guys can go off the head. I'm gonna close off the video by myself. I actually have a personal message I want to share with the Jays. Uh, Let's take long. Uh, the puppies are outside still. So. I'm just glad my dad's not here. But hey, dude, you are not gonna pay these guys. Nah. -uh. Wow. Nice. Yeah. I'll see you guys out of the car. Nice job. Thank you. Thank you for your services. All right, Jays. Uh, just want to say because some of you guys watched the first audition video and this one, thinking like, "Wow, Jesse, you're pretty harsh." Um, I, I just, I just want to say this. Thank you guys so much for coming out for the auditions. Uh, it was it's seriously a very rewarding experience. Um, I, I do have to preface this with saying, like, it is nothing personal. Like, I genuinely respect all you guys, and I'm not looking for a fan, per se. I'm just looking for somebody who... <laughs> man, man. It's gonna spot it now, because it's not that far off, and I'd rather you guys not wait to, um, uh, that is Jesse Ridgway. So. Why are you following me? Michael would be best known for fingering his own butthole, and before Michael would go from being on phone sex commercials to reporting on porn stars to get kids to click on his videos, before he would fail at traditional entertainment and start making a career talking about other people's careers and success, and before trying to destroy numerous YouTubers' careers such as Sniper Wolf, Pewds, and the Jugger Nuggets. This is also before I kick his ass. But hey, I'm sure he'll apologize after this video, because that's something he knows how to do. Michael McCrudden, anyone with crud in their last name? Ooh, 
This is going to be a sticky one. Michael was actually born in the 1960s, which makes him as old as my father. Growing up, Michael's father was a little boy's soccer coach, and his mother was an alien conspiracist and Scientologist. Oh, she <laughs> once claimed she was abducted and probed by aliens. I'm not talking about Uranus. I'm talking about hers. Not long after, Michael was born in the middle of a KISS concert. Yeah, they were doing a lot more than just kissing. Oh, oh and Lord. more probing. Michael always edged towards the feminine side, whether it was modeling, singing, even singing a song about jumping dickies. Yeah, I can't make this stuff up. We're only scratching the surface. <laughs> What's going on guys? My name is Jesse Ridgway, documenting the beginnings of Michael McCrudden uh, prior to fame, here like on Before They Were uh, Famous. Uh, Being the youngest of four siblings, Michael sort of walked to the beat of his own drum. Uh, Not having many friends uh, growing up, Michael would actually force himself upon young school children, knocking on doors and requesting a sleepover. Oddly enough, he even shares the same birthday as this woman featured here who has poop attacks. <laughs> The more you know. Surprisingly, Michael actually found himself taking special needs classes, and every teacher that he had in elementary and middle school and even high school, actually pretty much his whole entire school career. They said, Michael, you need to be in remedial courses. Actually, wait, that's not surprising at all. Michael's love of cross-dressing and standing out brought him to the world of theater, where he actually really excelled. In his spare time, Michael actually would become quite the childhood star, becoming infamous for his chode hairstyle. That's right, he literally looks like a penis. Here's a shot of him creeping on some dancers. What a weirdo. As childhood fame started inflating his already growing ego, Michael decided to start drinking a lot and acting out. He would be best known for showing up to strangers' weddings and doing a drunk Irish dance. It even got so bad one day where he actually crashed his mom's car into the family garage. His delusions of Hollywood became so strong that he literally wanted to become Jim Carrey. Alrighty then. For nearly a decade, Michael actually worked at Giant Carpet, which is a retail carpet store, and started to go to school at McMaster University for theater and film. The dude does not give up. It was here he developed an unhealthy addiction to alcohol and women. That's right, this guy and women. Alrighty then. There was also a time in his career where he was actually pretty anorexic. Here's a few shots of him. That one picture looked like he was wearing the mask. Because of his chronic alcoholism, Michael actually found himself sprinting through a glass window. That's right, this is the guy we currently trust to get our information from. He almost died from blood loss. If you don't believe me, ask to see his scar. He'll show you. After racking up tens of thousands of dollars of debt and entering a collapsing economy, Michael found himself being a delivery boy and then went on to become a production assistant for Canadian Hollywood. Not as good as the one here. Michael's dreams were finally fulfilled, or so he thought. He made minimum wage watching other people fulfill their dreams, so after three years, he quit. Probably better off finding remedial Hollywood. So you know what Michael did next? Got some headshots, landed a few cameos, but then started filming some cringy YouTube videos. Yeah, he was desperate. And not just for being a star. Dude's a stud. After an entire lifetime, Michael decided instead of trying to be in a show, why don't I make one? So he decided to go more in debt. While attending numerous TV production courses, as one of his classmates actually became his production assistant, Matt Rubel. Matt, unfortunately, would have to play babysitter to Michael, pretty much saving his ass anytime he gets into trouble. Mike left the program with three different show concepts, one in which was a really racist sitcom, which was not successful. One was about beer, women, and breakfast. Trying to relive the glory years. We have a lot of babes. You guys yeah. party that hard, your neighbors are leaving. I got the girlfriend, I'm getting sex with her. I can do whatever I want. To no surprise, that one also didn't get picked up. And lastly, he had a show casting his whole entire family doing a construction series. D3 Designing Renovation. Nice to play this next one. And the hexagon. <laughs> and the saw. <laughs> Steve's great trade. He likes to talk a lot. He likes to use my tools. 
but his work makes up for it because he does a great job at the end of the day. Hmm. Sounds like something else. He can look good while doing construction. Yeah, that's what the secretary There he is. <laughs> Called the Tom Sawyer. Works every time. Just like this. Down the Three wild apes start smacking them against wood as the other ape films them. But this didn't take off either. Well, that explains a lot of the resentment, Mike. Loads of debt, losing his longtime girlfriend, also relying on Craigslist to find his work, throw in the drinking, and Mike's on his last hope. Michael McCrudden? And hit rock bottom. But wait, hold on, we're getting to the best part. Out of nowhere, and probably because somebody felt bad for him, Michael landed a hosting job on a YouTube show called Information Overload. It was here that his eyes were open to digital fame and money, something he clearly could not get enough of, no matter how fucking bullshit it was. He decided to take his love for Jim Carrey, starting a channel and uploading Jim Carrey's life prior to fame. Jim Carrey has established himself as one of the biggest names in Hollywood, but before taking over Tinseltown, Jim came from very humble beginnings. He left school at 16, he was homeless for a short period of time, and his first time on stage resulted in booze and a giant hook pulled him off stage. Welcome to Before the There Were Famous, I'm Michael McCrudden. How poetic, he would then later get so to meet Jim Carrey so on the set of Dumb and Dumber 2. Jim had no clue who he was. He also thought Mike should be in remedial classes. But that didn't stop Michael McCrudden from creating one of the largest YouTube channels with over 1.7 million subscribers. And once again, this was all based off destroying other people's careers and pretty much being a fucking lying, hypocritical son of a bitch. And as for the rest of the story, well, you know the story. Because, actually, well, no, you probably didn't know this part. Watch this. Hold up. With this channel still Alright, let's watch this. Joel Palmer Juggernaut's here. Don't worry, guys, this is not a reaction channel. I've just been on the fans of deciding whether or not I should give this fucking lowlife more publicity. We're gonna go ahead and see you oh, Canada! There we go. Oh, We're Jackie, good now. I have never been to Canada. So thank you. Thank you, Michael McCrudden, for giving me an excuse to cross another country off and kick your fucking ass. Nobody, and I mean nobody, tries to damage my reputation. The creator does not get fucking Canada. You take care of this with Michael. Ain't no nobody bashing our family, making up bullshit lies about us. That's what Ain't I'm no that's squash. I will. And because nobody questions my authority, nobody tries to question my control, my power on my channel, and tries to think that I'm somebody that I'm not. So guess what, Michael? I'm coming to fucking Canada. And we're going to have a great time together. And by great time, I mean I'm going to literally beat the fucking shit out of you. Take care of business. I will. Get going. I will. I will. This happens sometimes. There's YouTube beef that you have to squash, so... Yeah, well, it's all... This is what happens on YouTube. Some asshole puts lies on the fucking internet, and then what, what happens? And are you saying that's a bad thing? It is a bad thing. Well, it's not, because guess what? Sweet holy justice is gonna rain upon him. Toronto? Am I, am I right about that, Mike? Toronto? See, I, I can actually do my homework, too. It's not that hard. Get it? It's not that fucking hard. Your ad revenue's down, you want to fucking hire a cameraman, you can't even afford that. So this is what happens. What do you mean, this is what happens? This, this is all bullshit, because he comes out and makes a fucking lie. I know, it comes with the territory. I didn't I didn't ask for this, but when somebody's talking but shit, I got... It's all part of it. That's what the fuck's so fucked up about it YouTube. Is. Uh, well, it's fucking YouTube beef, there's diss tracks and shit, this is part of the landscape, but I. what matters is I'm not a YouTuber that's going to hide. I'm going to fucking deal with it and probably generate some views, and I'm also just gonna kick Michael's ass and rain sweet fucking holy justice on him. What? He should fucking hide. Oh yeah, you better hide, Mike. Oh wait, no, you're talking a lot of shit, and that's right, he had footage of our fucking insides of our house and family albums. How the hell he did he get that? I don't know. Somebody, he saw, I don't know if he had a fan do it, but he had footage of somebody going into our house, into the fucking basement, looking through family photo albums. Is that something you're proud of? That is crap! Finish it down, would you? Yeah. Somebody come to my fucking house and oh. that shit. Oh, he's done. You're done, Mike. Here he comes, Juggies, from the depths of hell. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. I just landed in Toronto. Turns out, it's just an hour and a half flight. Hmm. That's a shame, Michael. 
that you underestimated me. Come with me. Oh, and the room has to be complete with a mirror. How are you doing, my friends? Check it out, Juggies. And Dark One or Jordan Hack, they're maybe. Yo! What's going on? I heard these two guys. They're gonna be in the next few right. uh, oh, the these videos. Yeah. Which you'll see Holy through this shit. showcase Nobody. and probably the next one too. Yeah. Wow, dude, this is so fucking weird. Man, it's been. Tim Hortz is right over there, right? What is that? Double double, buddy. I don't know. Copy so you're literally it. wearing Copy. a Canadian shirt. What the fuck? Watch buddy. We're in Canada. <laughs> Three years, eh? Yeah, yeah. No, I was like, I was just, I was telling the juggies about um, how long you guys been fans. So these have been two longtime moderators. Probably got to meet. How, how do I compare so far? Awesome, man. You're really short though in person, eh? Yeah, yeah. What? Tiny. You're really short. Did you say A? Oh my God, dude. Oh, they yeah. actually say this shit. So these guys are gonna help me out, right? Oh, yeah. Where's this kid you've been uh, having problems with? Yeah. Michael McCrow, well that's why I need you guys. I don't know my way around the city at all. Oh, I know if I like back my heart, like I said, Tim Hortons is right over there, boy. Yeah. I still don't know what that is. <laughs> Wait. Uh, we can, we can probably help you find him. Beat him up, maybe. Beat him up, what maybe? What? Do it? There we go, that's my man. Fuck you. Oh my god, look at the fucking camera, Jordan. Let's destroy this kid! Holy shit! He's not a kid, he's a fucking man, Jordan. I, I, I don't care, I mean, if you think he's a man, kid, then that's perfect. You say Michael, Michael McCrow? McCrow. He does it before they were famous, man. Yeah, before yeah. they were famous? I know yeah. that guy. He's got like... He's, the, he's a douchebag. He has like the nice hair and shit. Chase, dude, are you gonna be ready to fucking kick some ass? I am ready to kick some ass. Alright, get, on, get on fucking Jordan. Let's Hey, hey, what's up? Hey, hey, hey. hey what's up? Uh, we're looking for uh, Michael McCrudden. Michael McCrudden? This is important, this guy. We're looking for him. The I'm showcasing this part because I'm going to have to showcase another. The, uh, the red guy in my shirt. No, we're not. We're just, uh, I can we're taking recording right now. Okay. I mean, it's a studio, is it not? Do you have a permit? That's a permit. Are you serious? Yes. We're not even doing anything wrong, dude. Oh, We're just trying. No, it's come on. It's a studio. We can't film in the studio. No, you can't film in the studio. Let's go. Come on. Are you serious? Like you can't help us out here? Like we're really looking for something. Well, I can't give you a permit right now. I'm on the government office or anything. Right? Let's go. Come on. Right, let's go to the back. Well, we don't know, I don't know where we're fucking going. We got him. Lead the way, dude. I don't know where. Like, do you know who these people are here? Do you know where Michael McCrudden? Like, is this? Do you guys film stuff here? There's a lot of things. There is. There's a lot here. So we can't film here. No. Are you serious? Like, have you ever filmed something and you know, like, you gotta, like, I do YouTube videos? Well, I, I get permits here. Okay. So I can film here. Okay. Alright? Dude, who cares if you're on fucking video? Yeah, I don't, like, get the know, hand on I don't know, I don't know who you guys are. You guys are just walking I'm around in the building. McJuggernights? I'm a YouTuber, so I vlog. I'm a YouTuber, so I vlog. Okay. Is there any problem? Yeah, there's some problem. Come on. the fuck? I'm not trying to... You can't just shoot random shit. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure it's legal to do, to film stuff, so... Yeah, like if, if, if you know, like, this is, this is a film studio, you can't just shoot random shit. We've got private offices here. You know, I understand yeah. that, sir, but, you know, just... We didn't even know. We just kind of, like, walked into this building and weren't sure... Don't know the rules, you just randomly shoot stuff. I'm, well, I'm from the U.S., so in the U.S. we're allowed to phone stuff in yeah, public, so... That's, so. that's kind of different. I'm, you don't have, have Google, you got that YouTube, right? So you got to talk about Google. I'm just Google. Yeah, well, Google, Google owns Google YouTube, dude. We... Dude, I'm, this is my first time here. I don't know what the fuck these rules are. I think it's bullshit. I think the U.S. does things better, honestly. Right through that door. Right through the store? Are you serious? We didn't come in this way. Well, now you're going out the store. Wow. Okay, dude. Thanks, man. What was, what was your name? Just so I can fucking report you? Just so my commenters, so the Juggies can fucking hate your guts? Alright. I see you actually running out, because they call the cops, right? Yeah? Fucking yeah. okay, Mounties on the- Fuck! Fuck! What the shit? Like, what the fuck was that? Well, it's because you're fucking jumping around like a kangaroo, dude.
So we need to leave that shit open. And if Michael is here, we need to fucking leave. Right. What the? Dude, I just read what's on the, what? on the screen. 
Would you? Let me show you. Come here. I don't want to. Someone off me in a month now? Shut up, Jordan. Keep that fucking guy's side for me. Just chill. What are you talking about? I just read what's on the teleprompter. Huh? I just read what's on the teleprompter. I don't like this shit. I don't uh, know. Who writes, who writes this fucking shit? Who's who? Who is doing that? I don't, I don't even understand why that says that right now. My buddy Matt does the writing. I do the hosting. I'm the host. Man. Scribble? You know? Yeah, yeah, no, I, when I did your... Yo, Lord, 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 Lord. Calm down. Calm down. We'll get him. We'll get him. We'll get him. Yo, it's George. He's split up. Oh, yo. Fuck the rest of Oh, this fucking bitch. Get the fuck out Yo, where's Matt? Where is Matt? Where is he? Matt. I saw you with him in the elevator, bitch. I'm not afraid of you. Don't worry about fucking Matt. Get Where is he? Out. Where is he? Get the fuck out of here. Where Jesse, is he? Call, 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 call the cops. Do it. Do it, bitch. I don't give a shit. Leave what now. Are you you want to fuck it? I'll fight you too. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh. Doctor, go to sleep. Go to sleep. Dude. Dude. What the fuck, dude? That's how they take care of business. Dude, you just fucking... You knocked him out, man. That's how you take care of business, boys. What the fuck did you do? Are you good, man? I've got a sleeper hold. I can't believe you just did that shit. Did you see Matt? He'll be up. I didn't see Matt. Did you see Matt? Up in oh. the, way he, the way he sounded made it sound like he was inside. Are you serious? Yeah. Michael! Nobody's in here. Yo, what the fuck? Yo, shit! I don't think I can climb up here. Don't worry about it. I got this. I got him. I got this shit. <coughs> but it's alright. <coughs> Matt! Who the fuck are you? Come here, you son of a bitch! Wait. Oh shit. Yo! Yo! Don't think about it, man. What the fuck? You realize how hard it's been to catch up to you? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna jump? I was thinking about it. What the fuck, man? You realize how hard it was to catch you? I flew all the way to fucking Canada to find you out here. Hey, what, you running? I gotta, I gotta beat up your boy Michael? What did you do, dude, to my fucking before they were famous? I heard it was you the one that wrote that shit. Yes, it was me. And you think that's okay? Yes. You think that's okay to lie about somebody? To lie about somebody's life? You know you put fake pictures in there? What was that, Google, Google was Images? Funny. Pretty funny. It was pretty funny. Yeah. That wasn't even just like that wasn't even no. I'm talking the guy from Road Trip. <laughs> okay, congratulations, fucking relations. But you're spitting that as it's truth. People watch that and think it's real, and then they think what? I'm the the Breckin Meyer guy, and my parents? That wasn't my fucking parents. Is that funny too? That's pretty funny. To you better wipe that fucking smirk off your face, dude. I'll push you off this building. I don't even give a shit. I don't even give a shit. What you say you're gonna jump with a suicidal son of a bitch? You scared? Cause you know you fucked up. Fuck the girl. The girl, Matt. You showed a little picture of me with a fan. That's pedophilia, bitch. Do you realize what that happens when that gets out on the internet? People fucking hate you for it, and that never leaves. That wasn't supposed what? to happen. What? That part wasn't supposed. It wasn't to supposed to happen. Oh, but guess what? You put it out anyway, Matt. You, you, you put it out there. None of this went the way it was supposed to. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You didn't expect for me to come all the way out here. I apologize. You think you're hot shit, man? Huh? You think you can tell Michael, hey, do this for me, you little puppet master? Huh? You think you're cool? You think you're this top level creator? Huh? What? Huh. Type this little shit. Type this little shit. I write it. I make it happen. I snap my fucking fingers. And this is how everything goes. I run the world. Well, guess what, motherfucker? You're not the only one. That's right. No, I'm not the you? only one. Yeah. You do the yeah, exact yeah. same thing. Thing. No, don't you fucking turn on me. Yeah, I create. I create stories, bitch. What are you <coughs> we're doing? Yeah, you we're not telling what stories. What? Just like oh, you. Oh, no, do. you are telling stories. Bullshit stories that affect somebody's Your reputation. Your stories are true? You, your you stories know, are a bullshit, too. There is... You control your parents and everyone around you. Guess you what? pulled them into your bullshit narrative. Okay, well, you want to talk about bullshit narrative? So you just admitted on fucking camera to faking every single before they were famous video. No! Ruining reputation. Yes! Yes, you fucking did! 
That's not true. That's not true? Every because single they... Before They Were Famous video, other than yours, is absolutely accurate. Then why would you do me dirty like that? Why would because you lie? Because you're different, on... Jesse. Oh, you, yeah, you're damn right. You're damn right I'm different. We told your I'm... story the way you tell your stories. You ain't got nothing on me, man. This video cut you down, and then um, the next episode will get to you know, edit the videos, decide what's right, what exists, what not. I tell stories. You're a liar. Why me? Be Why me? You lie. Because what? your series. What? Because of the psycho series. A lot of us thought it was real. What the fuck? I don't know why it's in the brightness thing. I apologize. We thought it was real. You at least at first. You thought the Psycho series was real? Like genuinely? Yeah, the first couple of videos, you think it's real. It seemed real and then as you went on it just got crazier and crazier. You lied to us, you tricked us, you tricked your fans. I was Everyone who supported you. We related to what you did. Your relationships with your family. And then you made it Fucking ridiculous and insane. You killed your father. That, and it was fake. Yeah, I mean, that was the ending, man. I, that's how it was supposed to end. It was the end of the story. You lie. You lie to us. I'm a fan. What? I loved your shit. I loved it. I thought it was exciting and, and the characters were real and I related to them. And I thought it was real at first. And then you just... Blew it up at the end, and it's over. Yeah, I didn't. So you. Well, why would you lie then if you were a fan of me? Hmm. I wanted you to know what would it what it was like. Just see something that you thought was real turn into bullshit. And I want you to. Start the series again. We loved it. What are you doing now? It's not it's not the same. So you like genuinely loved what I made? Yeah. And you made a story about mine? I was trying to do the same thing you were. <laughs> Damn man, I didn't I didn't know. No, no, it's fine, it's fine. Well, let me come in here. He's, We've been tracking this guy. I know, I know. Calm the fuck down, dude. We just talked on the roof. Everything's fine. It's a huge misunderstanding. Can you hold this? Yeah. Are you all right? Can you fucking hurt yeah. you? Yeah. I'm fine, Jordan. I got it. Everything's fine. Could you stop? I'll take that. You stop looking at him like that. You're freaking out. I mean, what the hell? We talked. It was. I didn't understand what he was doing. He was doing a story because he loved the Psycho series. We're all fans. We're all fans here. Yeah. <sighs> Well, so like, 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 no, 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 he's cool, dude. But, no, I think it's like, all, all he's doing was telling a story on his channel. Like, it, it turns out we're not that different. I'll do this kind of stuff, but that's not So, really? Really? Yeah. yeah. Right, so, I'm telling you, like, I'm cool with it, so I want you guys to be chill. And Matt's cool too, right? Yeah. We're all good. There we go. Alright. So that was uh, pretty good, man. Got all the way to the end of this video here. So the next one I'll be showcasing a tale of two creators. I'll probably skip that, and then we'll be on to the next phase of the cameraman competition, which is gonna lead to some interesting shit in the next couple. So I got through this more than I originally thought. So the next showcase, episode 27, we'll start with a tale of two creators, and I'm gonna have to showcase a little bit of that. Um, maybe not as much as I did with this video, but yeah. So, but yeah, I expect these to be like 40 minutes each. If I can ever pull 50 minutes, I'll try that sometime. I thought I was going to do it this time, but nah, didn't need to. Anyways, that's the end of this video. Stay tuned for the next one.